Angry mob kills man mistaken for St. Thomas abductor. Hi again and welcome. This is Link Sub Level 7 TV. Let's talk and we'll be right back with the details to come. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. This is Link Sublow 7 TV. Let's talk. So what I want to talk about today on the program is the missing girls in St. Thomas and how the residents are dealing with the situation. After it has been reported that an individual was seen in the community and he was attacked and his life taken innocently by the residents. Now when I heard about this situation, I really have to imagine how could these residents be so foolish to have taken the life of an innocent person? We know the anger that they have. However, this is not the way you deal with situations. And now this individual, he lost his life innocently because of the anger that people have inside him based on what transpired to those young girls. I know that the situation that happened in St. Thomas is very unfortunate but you can't go around attacking people especially innocent individuals because you don't know them from the community or you believe as if this was the actual person that was responsible for carrying out the vicious act on those two girls i don't support that act in no way shape or form and it's very an unfortunate situation right now to really see what happened to this individual we have not received his identity just yet, nor his age. However, there was an amateur video that surfaced online in which people were actually stating, can you identify the individual? No one could. And it just goes to show you that these situations need to be properly investigated and people can't just take matters into their own hands and then you say that you are doing they're your community justice. This is no justice. This is injustice being done here. And the residents of St. Thomas, I believe that you should be ashamed of yourself right now for taking the life of an innocent person. I know with the situation that transpired has left the residents in total shock and in disbelief. However, we can't go on as a country like this, thinking that resorting to violence is the only way in which we can let our voices be heard so now i'm about to update you with the latest report i have to bring to you in relation to this matter so an anger mob on wednesday morning killed a man who was mistakenly identified as a suspect in the recent abduction of two girls in bad st thomas so this individual he was going about his business when he was attacked by residents of the community the incident happened in St. Thomas about 8 a.m. this morning. The man was killed by a mob in St. Thomas after 8 this morning. Detectives are still on the ground and they have discovered that the man who was killed is not Davian Briard, according to the Corporate Communications Unit, Ms. Stephanie Lindsay. According to the police report now, 
the now deceased man was seen walking along the road in the community and was approached by residents armed with machetes. He reportedly ran into bushes but was chased by the angry mob who inflicted several wounds to his body. He was then taken to the hospital by the police where he succumbed to his injuries. Well, that's the latest news coming outside of St. Thomas in relation to the case of the abduction of the two girls. But this is such an unfortunate situation and such a sad one to report on. And this individual was said to be an innocent man going about his daily business when he was attacked by residents. Now you can't blame this individual for making good his escape. But he was eventually caught by these individuals and he was inflicted with several wounds across his body and he subsequently died. This is sad. The residents of St. Thomas now, I don't even know what to say in relation to the matter, but I feel what they're going through based on what happened in their community, but taking matters into their own hands in such a way should not be an option at this point in time because now the life of an innocent person was taken and now this individual is left lifeless and this individual must would have had a family. He must would have had people that cared for him. He must would have had people that were looking forward for his return home this evening. Now with this recent development, it just goes to show you that people can't take matters into their own hands. And I've often said this, and this is not like the first time situations such as, such as these have happened where people have let their anger got the better of them and this was just another in a series that we have seen happen over the years. I don't know how these residents feel at this point in time. I don't know if they were rejoicing, but I know after the police carried out the investigation and they actually came to the conclusion that this was not the actual person that carried out the act on those two girls. I don't know what they might be feeling at this point in time, but it's an unfortunate situation and it's a very sad one because this individual life could have been spared. It best they would have called the police, but guess what? They just wanted to prove a point. And the point that they were trying to prove right now is actually baseless based on the fact that they took the life of an innocent person. An individual that was going about his daily routine, his life taken by an angry mob of people armed with machete, knife, stick, stones, and the list could go on and on. Now the police have intensified their investigation into this matter as well. But with this said, it's an unfortunate one. And I can't even begin to imagine what the family of this individual might be going through at this difficult time because being attacked by so much people all at once couldn't have been a good experience for that individual and i believe that the residents need to be accountable in their actions and they need to stop being so proactive in certain situations and think about what they're doing before they carry out those actions because only if they had waited for some confirmation in relation to this then someone would have noticed that this individual was actually the wrong person not to say that i'm imploring them to carry out matters into their own hands or take matters into their own hands However, if someone had just made that call in order to see if this individual was the actual suspect that the police was searching for, now this individual life taken innocently. Such an unfortunate situation. Such a sad one. Wow, I tell you, man. This is where I believe I'm going to leave this now for Dodo. Thanks for watching. This has been Links to Blow 7 TV. Let's talk. You can just drop it in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about this one. And let me know how you feel about the actions of the resident towards this individual life that was taken. Not a good one. Peace out and bless.